You gotta show me how you do that. Unless you want to be Daddy's little girl, I can't help you. But that shirt's got you halfway there. Alex. Alex! Oh! <laughs> Oh, that's cool. I've always wanted a guard rabbit, you know, scare off the mailman. When they heal, they'll be just like Gigi's. <laughs> when is Gigi's gonna heal? I thought you had a family commitment. I'll work it out with my parents. Sure, they're pretty understanding. No, I'm just really sneaky. <laughs> attention shoppers, attention shoppers. Gigi's real name is Gertrude. I know about relationships. I know how girls think. So do I. They're right brain dominant and they have a slightly larger hyperthalamus. <laughs> People don't care about. You know, this is going to be hard to believe, but I've never kissed a girl. I find it hard to believe that you think that I find that hard to believe. First of all, take out five dollars. Why? I need five dollars. Do you have five ones for this five? Uh huh. Great, because my five was lonely. <laughs> oh. What's deja vu? It's when you feel like something's happened before. For example, Dad, do you have five dollars? Why? Because I need five dollars. Deja vu, huh, Justin? I'm the one that told Vice Principal Clements to fix his dead tooth. Now he's getting married. I'm just mad at you because I'm mad at me. You are? Yeah, you are. She was right. Who was right? Me! Check it out. I got an F on my Spanish midterm. Why are you so happy about it? Because Riley got an F, too. That means he's been paying as much attention to me as I've been to him. Every day I show up late so he'll definitely notice me. Then I forget my textbook so we have to share one. And finally, I let the teacher catch his passing notes so she keeps us both after class. That is hard work. You must be exhausted. That's why I sleep during history. Your failing Spanish is all my fault. Oh, okay. You're right. It is your fault. Ow. Como se dice... Lampito. Capito. Ow! Oops, my bad. I just used the pocket elf to get the answers right on the test. Okay, I cheated. So what? Wow, you even got your subjunctive conjugations. Oh, you know what the Spanish say. See. Si. Oh, wait, that's not a straw. <laughs> Can I have some? Slide. That was fun. What a nice break from chocolate. Ooh, chocolate sounds good right now. She told me my backpack was bending my spine, so she gave me her even it out. Let's check. There, all straight. You're welcome. Your brother is not your pack mule. Yeah, I'm not your pack mule. I'm sorry, Maxie. Could you take this upstairs for me? You're not paying attention. That isn't like you. Yeah, it's like me, and you're not even doing it right. I completely check out. This place could be burning, and I wouldn't even know it. I can't take Meredith to the prom looking like this. Why not? She does like danger. If you go with that thing, she'll never know when it's going to blow. <laughs> this thing keeps beeping. The metal man must be close. Alex, you're on a metal staircase with a metal detector. Oh, I just wasted an hour going up and down these things. Please tell me you got the unanimation spell from Dad. I got the unanimation spell from Dad. Oh, really? No, I just felt like I owed you some good news. No, I know I'm grounded for three weeks. How did you come up with three weeks? One for using magic behind your back, another for letting the trophy man run around the house, and the last one for future trouble I'll probably be getting into. Hey, guys, you want to dance? Hey. Why would we want to dance with an eighth grader? Just get lost. I'm in ninth grade, you big idiot. What took you so long? Okay, if you really want to know, I missed the A train, so I had to catch the bus on 4th Street where this guy was selling the cutest earrings. Is it pop? <laughs> Not wearing my hat, am I? Good job. Now pop that sucker and run. That's all you got. See, I don't... I'm kind of going to miss him. He was the only one around here who was almost as clever as me. Yep, you're so clever. Now you're locked out. That's okay. I'll catch up with Miranda and tell her about your doll collection. <laughs> Crystal balls, usage and manufacturing. Oh, I did mine on how to use the really little ones for earrings. Cute, huh? <laughs> End of report. Cashmere's a pierce. Ooh, soft. Hey, that's my sweater. Oh, I'm sorry, Mom. Let's talk about it. Did you guys know most wizard accidents happen within a mile of the home? That's because some people have brothers, and they're not accidents. Here's the left-handed mashed potato scooper you wanted. Thanks. A lot of people think they're the same as an ice cream scooper. Those people would be wrong. That was totally an ice cream scooper. If we stay in here long enough, 
Harper won't be able to find anyone and she'll just leave. And you expect that to work? Well, that's how I got out of Harper's Sewing Club. I checked with my boss, and since I'm the boss of me, I'm giving myself the day off. Brain freeze! Must have run out. Yeah. <laughs> nope, now it did. We'll blame him. Perfect. I've been blaming him my whole life. There's something wrong with that spell. Or maybe it's me. No, it's got to be the spell. <laughs> We're supposed to be doing our homework, not surfing the World Wide Whiz Web. I have to do a little shopping. I like to look good when I'm doing my homework. <laughs> my dog brought my homework. That'll be a new one. You'll come around. They always do. Well, I don't know who they are, but I'm not one of them. Why don't you rest your head on Frankie's shoulder and tell him all about it? I would, but I don't have time for you to get a ladder. The Hudson Dog Show? When is it? Why don't you buy a copy and find out? I have to buy it. Do I come into your restaurant, lick a sandwich, and leave? That'll be eight dollars. It's today. I'd like to return this for a refund. Zinger! Max will feed him every day and Justin will give him a bath and walk him. What will you do? I'm doing it. I'm coordinating what you guys do. I got D and I'm pretty sure I'm right. D wasn't even close. Why are you so sure you're right? No, I got a D on the test. I'm sure I'm right about that. We're going to fancy tea. You need to act like you've smelt something terrible. How's this lovely thing treating you so far? What happened to your face is apply your makeup with a hammer, take orders and not talk about my problems, slice salami and not talk about my problems, be nice to rude customers and not tell them about my problems. You know me? Service with a smile. You sound like you want to talk about your problems. Mom, why are you always in my business? People change. Maybe Gigi is nicer. Mom, if I'm going to tell you about my problems, you have to agree with them. <laughs> Aren't you going to help me? Why? They're already bruised. <laughs> That felt good. I still have to write an essay so I'll get chosen to go to the World School Summit at the UN. Yeah, once you said essay, all I heard was blah, 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 blah. Seriously, you have to make your stories more interesting because all I'm hearing is blah, 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 blah. He's a kiss-up. He's not a kiss-up. He's just good at getting what he wants. That's one of the things we have in common. That guy makes me so mad. Yeah, that's another thing we have in common. We both like making you mad. Just do what I did. I wore some really ugly earrings to distract from the ugly hat. <laughs> that shirt'll do. If I don't see it, I can say I didn't see it. Oh my gosh! Made you look free resale. Hey, it's mine. Oh, hello, gorgeous. Who is that? I think you fell in love with yourself. So what? There's a lot about me to love. So remember, bag, don't brag. Oh, I get it. Like, um, um, I can't think of anything wrong with me. Oh my gosh! Someone sent me flowers. I wonder who it could be. Me! Wow, this is tiny. If this was a list of my achievements, it would be way longer. I wanted us to be more than friends, but you're not even a friend. I think we should break up. Break up? We were never going out. Well, in my mind we were. But now that's all over. How does it feel to be theoretically dumb? Where'd all this come from? Me! I thought the potion wore off. It did. What didn't wear off is how good I feel about sending myself flowers. Who's gonna be kinder to me than me? We have your cape and lightsaber. I can't believe they found where I hid those. They accepted me for summer boarding school. Well, of course they accepted you. Who else would want to go? I expect you to have all your stuff back up in your room. Okay. Come on, Max. You got a lot of cleaning up to do. <laughs> um, that's a little cleaner than I was going for. <laughs> Hide! Oh, never mind. What kind of powers do these glasses give you? None. They just look wonderful with the black bathroom. <laughs> Great, we're accessorizing ugly. Mom, Dad, please don't make me stay. I'll take that. Oh. Uh, feel free to add your number so we don't lose touch. Yeah, okay. I get the feeling you're too undisciplined to appreciate what WizTech has to offer. And I get the feeling that you people here at WizTech don't get me. Russo! Um, that really wasn't meant for you. Sorry. <laughs> But clearly this is meant for me. Shh. Hey everybody, I'm hosed. Did my messenger fish just tell you my evil plan? No. All right, this time, pay attention. I will drag the more There's a It's too bad Justin wasn't here. He would have loved Russo Family Fun Night. 
never thought I'd admit this, but I'm actually jealous of Justin right now. Let's say you haven't eaten for days and you're in desperate need of a sandwich. What do you do? I walk over to our sandwich shop and have Mom make me a sandwich. Mom's not here. Where's Mom? She's gone. She left the country. She left the country? Why? Is she okay? She's fine. Well, she's fine. I don't see why she couldn't make me a sandwich. Although I like such tasty snacks, I'd rather have my brother Max. Hello, Alex. You're a natural. Thanks. That wasn't even true. You're not supposed to be getting along with my friends. I know, but I like them. They're way more normal than I expected. I'm as confused by all this as you are. Are you old enough to see this movie? Oh, you flatter me. You realize it says you're 47 years old, right? And it's made out of construction paper. Can't you just look the other way? No, that would go against the Usher Code. Would a jacket that fits go against the Usher Code, too? Part of being a mature adult is knowing when to follow the rules. Well, part of being me is ignoring the rules and doing whatever I want. Aren't you a little old, Venus Sorority? Aren't you a little young? Fair enough. Hey. Hey. Your life is so much easier than mine. I'd have to walk all the way over there, ask the guy to make me a hot dog. I would have been exhausted. We need to get Dad to let us use magic whenever we want. Don't you already do that? Yes, but I'm tired of getting in trouble for it. Oh, this is awkward. Kamekis Pinkakis. A turkey sandwich? Yeah, I'm off the clock. You know where everything is. You broke the rules and used magic because you wanted Riley to ask you out. I did no such thing, and it totally worked. Which is back. Later. I've got a little shopping to do first. You don't have any money. No. But you do. <laughs> nice try, little girl. What? I changed us back as soon as you caught me. I caught you at the register at the mall. You get to wear a pink, beautiful dress. And it's a Latin American tradition that comes towards quince, meaning 15, and año, meaning year. I'm sorry, everything after pink dress was just yuck, yuck, yuck. It's all too girly and lame. No thanks. The shawl the overnight from Oaxaca, Mexico. <laughs> what do you think? I think you sound like you're choking when you say Oaxaca. Maybe I could spill a little paint on it and rip it, and then I'll call it a dress. And when I'm done, it'll go great with feelings. There's a ritual where you change from a flat shoe to a high heel shoe. Maybe I can change from these high tops to even higher high tops. The body switching spell. You switched bodies with mom, didn't you, Alex? Shh, keep it down, Nimrod. You are definitely not your brother, Justin. No, I'm not. I'm cuter and more fun to talk to, and I don't have dental floss on a keychain. No genie can trick me. I'd make them wish that they never met me. Why can't you be more like your brother? Because I don't want to grow old alone. No one remembers me. Look on the bright side. I bet you don't have to do dishes tonight. Justin is a great catch. You should go out with him. Ew, gross. That's exactly how I felt about your father when I first met him, and now he's my big cuddly bug. Ew, grosser. I can't take you seriously. You use big words like transparent. What are you, British? I heard about Justin's big party, and I've been working up the nerve to crash it. Oh, oh. I've been working up the nerve to leave. Oh, look, I did it. <laughs> Marietta Animata. I know this one. It's the one that makes you think you're the boss of me. Myriad animata is a spell for making an inanimate object come to life. Thanks, that's the answer. Well, I'm done with my review. See you later. I'm not constantly jealous. I just really like you. Well, you have a funny way of showing it. No, I don't. I'm constantly jealous. That's how I show it. Riley broke up with you? Yeah, but I'm being really strong. You want some churros? Sure. Riley used to buy food and let me eat some of it. You should have an open and honest talk with Riley to establish trust. Then you'll have a firm foundation for the future. Ew. That sounds like something old couples in their 20s would do. After grieving over Riley for 15 minutes, I met Manny and it was love at first sight. I'm going to teach Manny that no one comes between me and my girl. I know you don't like jealousy on me, but on you it is so hot. If you'd calm down every once in a while, I would tell you stories. Like, I bet you've always wondered what happened to your lightsaber and Kate. I could really use a dip. Pick that up. And that cup, too. Okay, thank you for eating at Waverly Substation. Come again. What did we say about taking people out of pictures? We say, yay, hooray, Alex is so fun and creative. You need to know the exact time and place to finish the spell. I need to know stuff. Justin's department. Yankee City, 1929. Wow. 
You even make sports not sound cool. I'd like a word, please. No, sure, Miss Mernovich. How about the word lunch? I know it's one of my favorites. <laughs> I'm done taking shortcuts. I'm going to do it the hard way. I'm going to copy off Nelly Rodrigues. The Mona Lisa, and she was painted by Leonardo... DiCaprio. Da Vinci, you put a $35 necklace on a $40 million painting. <laughs> well, now it's worth $40 million and $35. Why are you looking at me? Yeah, you should look at me. <laughs> I work for a fashion magazine. Well, not a good one. Fashion Fatale magazine. Fashion Fatale? I read those for free at the newsstand until the guy chases me away. Mom, Dad, some dude from Fashion Patel Magazine just offered me an internship and I'm going to take it. Okay. okay. <laughs> they said yes. Mom's going to give her first wizard lesson, so let's show her some respect. Oh, we respect her. It's you we don't respect. Anywho. See, we don't respect you because you say things like that. <laughs> Whoever wears it falls asleep instantly. Well, are you going to keep teaching? Because I want to be asleep for that. Hand it over. Sweaty knees, console face, <laughs> problems with the bowel. <laughs> It's over. Come on, Max. Are you as excited as I am about the Tribeca Quiz Bowl? Oh, my gosh. No. I'd like to be known as Alex, the girl who doesn't care what she's known as. You are known as that. I don't care. See, it looked like I really didn't care there for a second, huh? <laughs> Cute. <laughs> oh, I know. Cute. Get used to it. What's happening? Don't look at me. I'm a girl. I was just making posters. Wah, wah. She looks better with her hair up anyway. If you weren't so concerned with getting to know Dean, you would have hooked the wires up the right way. Now, now, don't go blaming Dean. I would have jacked that up anyway. I'm street smart. But not book smart. I am too book smart. Sure, I don't read books, but I hollow them out and hide things in them. Well, when in doubt, dance out, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Leather jacket or this hoodie? Let's see. Another. Good. <laughs> yep, I'd go with the hoodie. I get it. Because you're hard to figure out, nobody cares enough to try. About as much puppy love as I can take. <laughs> get it? Where do I come up with these things? Growing my new lease on life. Don't you mean leash on life? <laughs> Man, that is a good one. Up top. Don't forget your collars, it's flea season. <laughs> Another one. I am on fire. What are you doing in here? <laughs> what does it look like I'm doing in here? You're not invited. Gigi, how many times are you going to not invite me to something before you realize I don't care? If you don't care so much, why'd you quaint call us last time? <laughs> you can't prove that was me. Onward, my loyal bro! What are you doing? This is how I talk when I'm in my fantasy world. How awesome are thou indeed? <laughs> See, this is why I never draw you here. You like salad? Right, okay. Oh, right, okay. Good. You should listen to him more. Oh, yeah, I should listen to a lot of people more, but what are you gonna do? Alex, what have you done? Oh, transport! <laughs> That's why I've been acting kind of weird lately, and not my amazingly charming and cool without trying to help. What are you doing out here? I just found out the boy I like likes me. So like all those sappy movies, I, I thought I should come out on the terrace and stare at the stars. But I gotta tell you, it's really boring. Do you want it to be our first date? No, first dates are sappy. I just got off the phone with your math teacher. You haven't turned in the last three assignments? Well, that's the first I've heard of this. The first you've heard of these assignments? No, the first I've heard I'm in math. <laughs> I'm Alex Russo, sophomore. I should be a junior, but I don't test well. Oh, hi, Ronald, right? Yes. Thanks for remembering. Oh, I didn't really remember. That's why I was asking. You look like somebody who's always looking for an excuse to get out of work. What? No, I am not. Here, let's discuss it. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? I'll try and be a better influence on you. Aw, a lot of people have tried. Good luck with that. There is a wicked view up there. Although, it's nothing compared to this view. Why are you looking at me? Oh, I get it. I'm the view. Duh. You just keep hitting it back and forth for a little while. <sighs> Sounds complicated. No. Oh! Oh, I found him attractive. Alex, did you make those brownies? <sighs> I've got flour on my apron and... Sweat on my brow? What are you calling me, a liar? I just came here to invite you to the pop culture convention. 
Hold on. I gotta think of a lie on why I can't go. What is with the noise? Don't you know my Saturday is my sleep till Sunday day? Does everyone know the international tactical hand signals? Mm. I know a hand signal. Peace! I'm out. What are you gonna dress up as? Ooh, um, I'm gonna dress up as a super sleepy annoyed girl. It's hard being the smartest guy in the room. Yeah, I know how that song goes, buddy. Why'd you yell at that guy playing guitar in front of a restaurant? Singing about losing his girl? Oh, where, where? You're playing guitar in front of a restaurant. No wonder she's gone. I already have all the family I need. In fact, I think one member too many, and I know you know who we're talking about. <laughs> and we're not even that late. We missed two periods. Ugh. Okay. Fine. You're late, but this is when I usually get here. <laughs> Stand next to it. Maybe it'll blend in. I'm a talking magic cat. Or an art project. I'll stop talking. The message is, ugly lamps are easy to break. I think we got it. I know what you should get her. You do? Mm -hmm. Peach lip gloss and skull and bones pressed on nails. That's what you want. We? I don't think so. Hey! If she sees him, she'll blame me. Then I'll figure out a way to blame you. We are all in this together. Cute baby. Um, sure the baby's cute, but I mean, look at me, Mom. I'm, like, way cuter. I really want to be in this class. I mean, I even brought my own pretend baby, which is huge because anybody who knows me knows I never come prepared. Come on, Mom. Let's go hear my P.E. teacher tell you how I hate to run. It'll be fun. I have a lot of chores to do. Oh, good. Recycling's on the list. Uh, uh, Pepe. I can't get enough of that name. It makes fun of itself. <laughs> Pepe. Alex, can you give me a hand? I just got one more piece left. Oh. Ooh, what's that, Daddy? Spare parts for Justin's robot wife? I just scored the gig of a lifetime working for world famous designer Mr. Frenchie. Wow. I just ate a bunch of sugar. I guess we're both having good days, huh? Imagine the whole world dressed like me. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have an imagination that big. <laughs> Do me a favor. Get rid of these sandwiches. They're no good. Yeah, I'm all about helping. <laughs> yeah. Now I gotta get rid of these sandwiches. My dad said they weren't any good. Or they can get rid of them for me. All right, let's work for me. Goodness, I do look good in that dress. Alex, can I talk to you over there for a second? Sure. <laughs> I signed you up for... Locker Refurbish Club. No, thanks. Perhaps you'd like me to define the word requirement for you. No, thanks. I'm going to be an understudy in Justin's play. It should be easy because I understudy for most things. You know I'm a good actor. I've been acting like I like you for years. Why don't you go upstairs and start my homework and I'll make us some sandwiches. Oh, thanks, Alex. That's so generous of you. One Italian sub and a tuna salad on wheat. Got it. I'll take those. Oh, that's my girl always helping. Mom's helping Max. Alex is serving sandwiches. Where would we be without our ladies? Out of my way. I gotta throw myself off the stage. Make some room! <laughs> You're in the show, Alex. Justin, are you talking about kissing robots again? You're gonna get electrocuted eventually. Who's this? Well, that's Harper. <laughs> I don't think I should answer that until I'm assigned a Neverland attorney. Ew, is this diet? Ew. Oh, would you die already? Dead. I think I might get well again if the boys, if the boys and girls believed in fairies. Well, this is how you get rid of a fairy. <laughs> What was the name of that song? Stop, you're hurting my ears. The future. <laughs> oh, you mean like two minutes from now when I'll be faking a stomach ache to be getting out of this lesson. Oh, stomach ache. Oh, look at that. Came two minutes early. <laughs> it's a bit distracting, but you'll get used to it. Not likely. I'm not even used to Justin's face. You can't even play patty cake right. <laughs> you still don't get it. I wanted to hit you in the face. You didn't want to use this for the band, did you? Nope. <laughs> and a one, and a two, and a three. You play on the four. It's four and a half. Justin's in your band? What'd you do? Bribe him? No, of course not. It was more like blackmail. You named the band Burn without even consulting me? I do everything without consulting you. Why should I start now? You remember that one time when I apologized to you? 
No, when was that? Oh my goodness, can we please stop talking about it? You get the point. You know who I think is really hot? The guy who invented paper plates. We're not going to the movie, are we? Not unless you help me break some of these dishes. Hey, that's a good idea. Alec! This is Justin's spell. It's called Helping Hand. Will it slap him? No. Well, then it's no help to me. Add Iron Justin's shirt to your list. <laughs> Burn Justin's shirt. I'll help you and maybe we can get the work done in time for the movie. Oh, that sounds like a good idea if it wasn't for the work part. I've never seen your room so clean. I didn't even know you had a desk. <laughs> That's a desk? Do you think we're really going to catch the hand this way? Of course we are. It's a hand. It's a total knucklehead. <laughs> get it? Not a hand. Have you ever felt like kicking something but you're just too tired? <laughs> Don't you feel responsible? Don't you? I mean, you're my best friend. You you know I'm up to no good all the time. You you should be ashamed of yourself. Hey, you know what's really fun? Is when you give me my allowance. I'll be out spending my allowance. Sorry, Alex. I don't have any cash on me. Guess you should have thought your little plan through a little more carefully. Oh, I did. What? I'm part of your plan? No! That's... Um, Dad, you owe Justin $25. We're gonna make our own purses! Oh, Harper, this is gonna be so much fun. Don't you want to go back to school and rub it in his face that you're back? I know nothing ever feels finished to me unless I rub it in someone's face. The other thing I learned from when I was 40 is that rubbing it in someone's face doesn't get you anywhere. Really? And I definitely don't want to get older. Uh-uh. I was hoping you could give this basket to your ailing brother, Max. I'll give Max the basket. I only said the basket. I'm Alex Russo, and my hobby is, is I like to poke things with a stick. In all my years of teaching, a student... Who... I know, I know. A student so disobedient, cares about no one but herself. La, la, I heard this last period. Everyone knows those books. How could you not know about them? They're about wizards like you guys. Here's how. I don't read. You just made that word up. Oh, how do you know you don't read? That's because I have all the words I need, including these two. Goodbye. Why don't you make that eye patch a mouth patch? Don't you have classes? Oh, I have classes. The question is, is which one of them I'll be going to. <laughs> You're going to join the Happy Helpers Club. Oh, two things I don't like. Clubs and helping. Oh, you know what? I'm not a fan of happy either, so throw that in there too. Don't think you can skip it, because I'm the advisor. Fine. I'm not gonna lie to you, I still might try. <laughs> if anyone wants to close the door behind me and get a ribbon, feel free. No. I'm a nice person. Well, nice enough. I can be sensitive to a person's feelings. <laughs> Unlike you people. Gosh, staring is rude. Let me clean up. Okay, sit. You feeling better now? No. Okay. What about now? <laughs> no. Oh my gosh, this helping others thing is taking way too long. Why don't we try talking? Okay. Well, it's just that my whole life, I always thought I had a giant's blood. All right, what? talking is too exhausting. Never mind. <laughs> Helping people is so complicated. Let's mosey on down to the principal's office. Deputy. Well, I suppose I was going to end up there at some point anyway. Lefty Sal's your guy. There's no one named Lefty Sal. Don't ruin my moment. Just... I never knew there were kids worse than me in school. It's fun to solve crimes and get new ideas at the same time. A good citizenship award? That's low. I don't read. You think I'm an evil genius? That's so sweet. There's an essay? I thought there was just multiple choice. That's why I wrote down all my guesses on my arm. It says essay right there by your elbow. No, that's as easy. I wrote that down as a motivator. I didn't want to look in your brain. There's a lot of scary stuff in there. <laughs> Thank you. Jealous? Yes. I'm jealous of other people because they're not a part of this conversation. If you truly care about them, you'll need to put their feelings above yours. Do you know where Dad is? Get them in a room together. And don't let them leave until they work it out. It's actually not a bad idea. They'll be friends again, and they won't be mad at me, and I don't have to apologize to anyone. 
Is that all it takes is a pretty face? You guys are so easy. You got a problem with that? <laughs> no. How about if I treat you guys to makeovers at the department store? You mean where stuck-up girls make snooty faces at us while they pluck our eyebrows until we scream and then they tell us you'd be pretty if you took care of your skin? Pass. <laughs> A lot of anger in a tiny body. <laughs> Most wizard girls are all like, hee hee hee, I'm a wizard, oh my god. Wizard girls don't talk like that. In my mind, they do. You can't just pass some of those buds. You mean, one of these? No. <laughs> no. Paint a mural for the whole school. I don't, I don't know. You'll get out of class to do it. Well, then you should have said that first. What an honor. The facing school property is something I would do and have done many, many times, but I, I can't take credit for this one. I'm not scared of you, Alex. Stop staring at me. You actually researched that? Sort of. It was on the first page I opened up to in this book. <laughs> Having a popular restaurant is way too much work. I'd rather have a place that's barely scraping by like our old substation. What are we supposed to do now? Lie our butts off. You have a C- minus in math. Oh, are we really having this conversation right now? You... C-? minus. How are you doing better than me? It's really Justin's fault that I've fallen behind in science. I thought it had something to do with the 14 missing assignments. <gasps> 14? I thought it was ten. What? Well, uh, I told you that four weeks ago. Aren't you kind of known for doing nothing? Uh, you think I'm doing nothing, but really, I'm planning something against you. How did you know you'd be going? I find that if you keep acting like something you want's going to happen, a lot of times it just does. I'm going to be the girl on this ship having as much fun as she can, as fast as she can, until she gets caught. Chance to humiliate some boys? Sure, why not? Ashley Olsen, I can probably remember that. Ashley... Oh, no. Ah, uh, well... She's my sister. We left! Smoked turkey and a fancy cheese I've never heard of. I know it's fancy because it's not spray on. Delicious! <laughs> oh, God. Tonight might be the night I try to eat my dinner blindfolded. I wouldn't know what you were eating. You should do it. <laughs> Dad, give me the socks you're wearing and some butter. Go. Thank you for ruining our family. I'm <laughs> just kidding. It would really help strengthen your core. Oh, no thanks. I like my core loose in front of the TV. <laughs> oh, a job? Well, doesn't sound like something I'd do. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Finger snapping, bacon burgers, milkshakes. It's like I'm a princess. I like you. Oh, that's such a relief. Really? No, I always know. You're dressed like a chicken. <laughs> These are penguins. That's funny. <laughs> That's because you said you said chicken, but you're wearing penguins. Birds. It feels good to be appreciated. Yeah. <laughs> Don't get used to it. You make an amazing pickpocket. Hey, it's not a skill I'm proud of. Yes, it is. <laughs> Here is your coin purse back. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to ask her to go steady with me. Go study? Whose prom are you going to, Grandpa's? How great is this? We all look gross, no one's smiling, and we get to drink brains. I'm sorry. I can only learn one new thing a week, so I guess I'll just see you guys next week then. Great. I really don't like hard work. Oh my gosh, she is just like me. Wait a minute. You're not dropping me off at boarding school, are you? I never thought it would be you, Mom. Looks like your revenge. Revenged. <laughs> oh, come on, revenged. Look it up. I want to go to cheerleader tryouts. <gasps> Good idea. Let's go make fun of them. I want to be cheerleader. Yeah, and I want to graduate in four years, but it's not going to happen. Oh. <laughs> and Alex Russo? <laughs> Cheater. You know, normally I wouldn't agree with people and ties, but Dave's got a point. <laughs> Hello! I can't climb holding my head. Oh, give me that. The course is called Monster Hunting. 
Oh, great. Then you can round up all of your ex-girlfriends. When my dad's out of town, I sometimes forget to put the open sign up. <laughs> but I'll probably remember round three after everybody out there has already had lunch. Justin, your hand's a little low on the hug there. Oh, no. That's just me. <laughs> I haven't even learned that one yet. It's in the next chapter. And I only know it's in the next chapter because I put my gum there. I'm not lazy. I'm just resting up for my 30s. Yep, got a lot planned. <clears throat> Don't be afraid of love, Alex. It's what makes the world go round. Oh, well, so does money. So what's it going to cost to get you two out of here? When do we start to fight over Grandma's will? <laughs> <laughs> Grandma's broke. She doesn't have a will. Alex. <laughs> I'm on a long trip to education. Invisible shape. I guess that's something that you guys are always going to have to deal with. I mean, just like whoever I end up with is going to have to deal with all this. <laughs> you can sleep in the corner behind the water heater, warm and cozy. Let's clear out all of my stuff and set up your room. Let me know when you're done. <laughs> Thank you, Justin. I will pay you back the money. Mm. No, you won't. I know, but the thank you was real. <laughs> Why would you ever want to run 26 miles? The same reason you stayed on the couch for the entire month of July. Uh, I get it. A sense of accomplishment. I guess I should be supportive here. All right. What's the thing that people say? Oh, yeah. Keep it down. Check it out. If you put cereal on hot dogs, it counts as breakfast. Eat your breakfast dog so that we can go upstairs and do some couch camping. I have to fuel it with the best that nature has to offer. I got these from the hot dog guy. And he definitely smells like nature. You promised me that you would never, ever, ever run a marathon. Dear, I never said that. <laughs> Look, I'm half asleep, so my lies aren't really good right now. I've never used magic before my alarm clock went off. <laughs> I don't have an alarm clock. Oh, cool. Are we going to throw that at the runners? Look what I found in the area where Alex hides things area. Well, it's time to move that area again. Mmm. See, I can tell this is fancy because my drink isn't fizzing. Bombs away. Hi. Hey. <laughs> it seems rude. No, that's the part that makes it American. In America, laughter is how we show our appreciation. Like, um, Mr. Larry Tate is a great teacher. <laughs> Harper, that's a great outfit. <laughs> I don't think that's right. Harper, doing what's right has never really been my goal. I'm glad he's coming to dinner. I mean, once he sees how messed up all of you are, he'll realize what a miracle I am. <laughs> she didn't even bowl in the right direction. <laughs> I was trying to knock down the people in the snack bar line. It was too long. British people are so cute. I wish Americans came from England. Big news, everybody. Anything about Alien Language League is neither big nor news. So why don't we just start over and say, Hey, everybody, I have something really boring to say. He is the first member of the Alien Language League to ever make an organized sports team. Try and make fun of that. You just did. Give me an R. R. Give me a U. U. Oh, she's going to spell Russo. Give me a kidding me. Kidding me. Hey. I'm not mocking the crowd. No, I'm mocking the team. <laughs> Who are you taking to the homecoming dance? My TV. And guess what I'm wearing? My couch. <laughs> and there's only one way I'm going to do that. A complete change in perspective? Oh, you're so cute. You think people can change. Oh, Harper, what are you doing? That's freezing. Welcome back. <laughs> All I have to do is introduce the assembly, and I have the rest of the time to just do whatever I want and pull pranks around the school. Come on, dodgeballs filled with jelly. Yeah, that was a good one. <laughs> You know, just because you're frozen, it doesn't mean you're not here. How many hours ahead? Two or four? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, Mr. Larry Tate, I was just fixing the time. Cause who, who has the right time? Because this is, this is all wrong. So, excuse me. I need a couple more hours, should I? Under a gentle rain. Miss Russo, even though you're frozen, I can see you. What about now?
Don't let them live your bippity boppity boo and rescue your dad and brother. <laughs> bippity boppity, no. Freeze. Darling, climb and climb. Finally. You were willing to take the fall for me. Well, you're my brother. And that 20 bucks I stole from you earlier, well, we're even. Let me get back to my chores. I've been to lots of boy-girl parties. Oh, okay. Having Zeke over and me and Harper walk through is not a boy-girl party. I mean, you jog her memory with the jog your memory spell. Oh, that's what that spell does? I saw the word jog and I bailed. <laughs> Harper's gonna be here. But... It's like my homework. She'll be doing my share of the work anyway. You are like a dust devil in a field of brittle brush, Missy. <laughs> what if you get in trouble? For what? Sneaking into detention? Yeah, I'd love to see how that works. Your boots match the detention chair. Yeah, there used to be two chairs. Hey, just tell us where he is. Quick, he fainted. Someone give me a pin. I love drawing mustaches on people who can't stop me. You are my new role model. Please, Alex. I'm sure this is something you would have eventually come up with yourself. Yeah, no, that's true. I take it back. I'm my own role model again. <laughs> The fact that I don't know who you are makes this even more satisfying. Go out and give me 20. All of you. All right, look. I'll give you 20 bucks, because the whole workout thing isn't really my scene. Look at how our new principal is making everybody dress. I mean, how are we supposed to tell the weirdos from the losers? I'm going to need to speak with you right now. Busy. <laughs> Befuddles. Sounds like a word you'd say if you're wearing suspenders. Ah. It's an award given to the student who's done the most for her school. <laughs> I've done the most to the school. You know, I wrote something really nice for this, but then I saved my gum in it, so I'm just gonna wing it. Hey, you wanna be aliens, leave my friend alone. She's the only one who sees through me and sticks around. Why do people make such big deals out of banquets? It's like, hey, let's all sit around and listen to stupid speeches while we all eat the same exact meal. How many times do I have to tell you to keep the portal door closed? At least one more. It gets so stuffy in here. Mostly because our lair is inside a produce locker, where you don't throw out vegetables until they start growing other vegetables. Dead. <laughs> now it's stained. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you have a popcorn machine in your locker? Where do you keep your books? In your locker? You see what we can do when we work together. Yeah. See what I can do while you yell faster, faster, faster. <laughs> Look, somebody has to be the yeller. You've been caught in some kind of lie, and I, being the queen of all lies, need to know what it is. This is the exciting part of lying. It's when we get to use our imagination to make the lie even more spectacular. Justin and I can use a spell to make each other look ancient. You know, like how mom and dad look. Your parents are a little embarrassing. Oh, my girlfriends have met my parents. It's been fine. That's because anyone who dates you is even more embarrassing than mom and dad. The truth is only good for two things. Getting grounded and getting someone else grounded. When I get old, I'm just going to sit around and read magazines. That's what you do anyway. I'm practicing for later. You tell the truth, you get in trouble. You lie, you get in trouble. We're probably just better off not talking to each other. We're in the face of an emergency, and you're kicking back reading a magazine. Flipping through a magazine is how I come up with my lies. I've got it. You do? I know how Jennifer can get Brad back. Wow. <laughs> Who took my wallet? Sorry. Please don't meddle. Fine, I won't. See you later. After all these years, she still thinks I'm going to do what she asks. Hold this. You don't want to have this while you're talking to her. Thanks. Looks like I got me some lunch. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> what do I get for my size project on electricity? Cup? Ribbon? Something. Are you sure you don't want to use my graduation speech? It goes like this. Later, losers. I think there's someone that you should meet. Your inner self. No thanks, I'm good with my outer self. Here's something. What is it? It's a spell to duplicate money. 
Why has that not been a wizard lesson? Alex! Grades are just a way of telling you how you're doing in school, and I don't think that's anyone's business. You're telling me that I have to come up with a solution all by myself to a problem that I created all by myself? Well, that's not fair. Not all books have pictures. Ha! Yes, they do, because if they didn't, they wouldn't be books, they would be homework. Any luck finding Captain Jim Bob? Nope. You? No. You didn't look, did you? <laughs> I looked around this general area. Wow. There's always an evil queen. Sometimes she's the head cheerleader, sometimes she's the fairy tale stepmother, and sometimes she's your sister. Now I can see why evil queens are so evil. This thing is making me irritable. <laughs> and you the applause! <laughs> Sorry, this is really catchy. Do you even know where Romania is? <laughs> yes. It's in Rome, duh. And cue the applause. I thought of something that I can do in the act. Watch this. Pretty good, huh? I think it's gonna pull the whole show together. Moxie? That sounds like a dog's name. What's next? Do I get my own squeaky toy? If there is one thing that you're really good at, it's ruining things. Aw, thank you. I'm Alex Finkel. I took the entrepreneurial initiative, and I took a startup grant from a local family-owned business. You took money from our cash register? Well, if you want to use the ugly words, then yes. You're proud of me. Uh, proud to ground you. Ah, oh, more ugly words. There is only one way that I can get out of this. Medicine. Hide from you people! I'm already so bored, I'm in a place with books. Hold for Friday's lessons. Don't touch it, Alex. Hmm. I don't remember where this was hanging, so I don't know what not to touch. Am I right, Alex? Well, at least I know I can always count on you to agree with me. Woo! Go team, Alex! Dad's chair is usually over there, and now it's over here. Oh! <coughs> Either way, it's just as dirty. I'm starting to like this place. All of these backward words make it easier for me to just focus on the pictures. I don't have to cook or bust tables or do anything. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Everyone is on the bus because Alex is a genius. I approve of the message, so I'm going to ignore the delivery. I should be queen of everything. I don't have to ask if you agree because I know that you do. <laughs> you come out of there right now. Sounds like I'm in some trouble, so I think I'm going to stay here for a while. It's good to have you back, old friend. Oh, it's good to have you back, too, buddy. I'm gonna miss you when I go to Europe. Oh, hey, Harper. Were you talking to me or the magazine? <laughs> to you, of course. I've missed you so much. So, so what, are you just gonna ignore your brother forever? Oh, that actually sounds like a good idea. I've been holding back using magic all day. You don't think I want to turn Justin's ugly shirt into something uglier? I can't stand to see Justin like this. Well, I can't stand to see Justin hardly at all. But I've gotten used to it. Just do what I do when people ask me for answers I don't know. Just say random words until they change the subject. Alex made that. Bravo! Bravo! <laughs> Harper, help him down. Justin, are you ready to trip him? What are you going to wear to the party? I'm thinking my slippers, my gray sweats with holes in them, and my dad's old concert t-shirt from the band called Oingo Boingo. <laughs> Yes, Mason. I do look good right now. Is that really what he said? I'm assuming. I'd love to meet your friends. Mingle. Get to know... Oh, I don't have any friends. <laughs> We've had your family under surveillance for months. Oh, no, Dad. They found out that our sodas are mostly ice. <laughs> Man, this little lady can eat. Is everyone in your family a wizard? <laughs> uh, I'm not telling you anything. I'm gonna do what you do best and lie like crazy. Oh, I love it when we share things. You guys are still together. Well, of course we're together. That's what you do when you're dating. Yeah, when you're married is when you do things separately. I just thought Alex was being uncharacteristically generous. <laughs> <laughs> you can go in the easy way, or my way. Do you even know how to zip up that sweatshirt on your own? Yes. 
<laughs> there, see? We just crashed the car, didn't we? We? I had to try. This is really bad, Alex. I know. We've been driving around in this rolling cow heap all afternoon. I hope no one saw us. You're supposed to learn how to deal with this situation without magic. Right. Let's make a break for it. No, wait. Use honesty to take responsibility for what they've done. <laughs> That's a good one, Harper. Honesty and responsibility. Oh, no, but seriously, who should we blame? Like an innocent bystander or something? How about that lady? She looks pretty defenseless. Hey, lady, why'd you do that to our car? <laughs> Being just friends means I don't have to worry about my breath smelling like popcorn, hot sauce, and pickle juice. You never worried about that before. I know. It was a real catch, wasn't I? No one talked to her. Yeah. No one talked to me. I'm here to learn. I really like your boots, by the way. <laughs> you stay out of my closet. I'm sorry Justin turned you into a little girl. You did this to me, too. And let me tell you, it feels great not being the only one in trouble for once. I remember Alex in this outfit. <laughs> You're even cuter than she was. I don't see it. Look, you just made herself a peanut butter and jealous sandwich. I'd be upset, but you know I don't make my own sandwiches. I'm not leaving here until I get you all to like me. Well, I'm not gonna like you until you leave. Shows. Actually, it's a sandal that could be mistaken as a heel. Come on. Any questions? Yes. How is it possible that you and I are related? I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. It's a little too, what's the word, exercisey. Oh my gosh, there's a fuzzy frog squirrel. <laughs> They're bad angels. If you get too close to one, they can draw you to the dark side and make you do bad things. We have one of those in the wizard world. It's called Alex. Angels can play the harp and sing. Well, here, you're Harper. Ding, 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 ding. I'll play you sing. Twinkle, twinkle, little angels. Angels. If you wonder, we are angels. Way to go, Harper. <laughs> Way to make a mess of things. Me? I know. I just wanted to say it for once instead of hearing it. Being around all these angels is starting to make me feel like I should do the right thing. I really hope that wears off. That's awful and hilarious, but those are my favorite combinations, so I like it. Delivery day is the worst. <sighs> it takes so long for you to lug everything inside while I stand guard. I can't imagine why you would give yourself such a tough job. Yeah, it's pretty grueling, I'm not gonna lie. Ah! Springer! See? Squint and run. No, no, I don't run. <laughs> I like you. I like you too. Hmm, that's unnecessary. I was tricked too, Alex. <laughs> oh, you're gonna have to do so much better than that if you want to outlaw a liar. I know there's still some good left in you. No, there isn't. Wait. Ah, oh, there it is, a little piece of good. Darn it! You've got some dark brown butt to kick. Okay, who else really likes hearing the word butt over the loudspeaker? <laughs> uh, butt? What do these do? Do they shoot like lasers and stuff? <laughs> no, they're just wings. Oh. Okay. Well, you know what's good for emergencies? Lasers. You know what's not? Feathers. They'll still look cute anyway. Where are the brakes on these things? on a test. Hey, there's nothing special about the minus part, because I always get that, but the A, that's new for me. You can graduate everyone, and I can get back in the wizard competition. Yeah! But if you don't think we're doing very good, we'll just settle with putting me back in the competition. Hey. Oh, yeah. You'll never be able to get it from him. He's having way too much fun. Oh. <laughs> so cute. You think I can't get something I want. If he starts asking questions, I am not covering for you. Well, I cover for you all the time. When people say you're uptight, I say, oh, you should try a living with him. He's going to do a magic show in front of a bunch of people. Oh, he's terrible. So that means it's going to be hilarious. I totally have a plan to fix this. Great. What is it? Are you ready? Because you're going to love this. <laughs> Ever since Zeke found out about magic, he's been so annoying. Aw, now that's love. You think he just became annoying. I've never had the opportunity to use it selfishly. Selfish. 
Oh, you're such a good role model for you. The only stupid holidays are the ones we're used to left to go to school. Like Valentine's Day or St. Patrick's Day or my birthday. It's messy and it's loud and my cousins have fleas. Okay, well then bring your parents to the substation. I mean, we still have fleas, but at least it's quieter. Oh, I have a feeling you're not going to take no for an answer. If more people got that about me, life would be so much easier for them. But my parents are always very judgmental of my girlfriends. They've never liked any of them. It's not my fault you've dated a bunch of losers until you met me. There it is. <laughs> Just last night you canceled our big plans to sit on the couch and do nothing. I had to do nothing alone. Your relationship is steadfast. Steadfast? I mean solid. Huh. Big Zerper. Now I can skip English. Hey, could you do me a steadfast and say here when they call my name? I was just standing in front of the air conditioning display at the hardware store until old man Greenwald yelled at me for not buying anything. So I bought you a screwdriver. Happy Mother's Day. I'll handle it like I handle all of life's problems. Ignore it until it goes away. You got a new locker, Harper? I had to, since you had mine refrigerated for your beverages. Oh, good. And this would give me a freezer for my ice cream. Jerry, did he just say something about Alex not graduating? Look, our spaceship is set up! Harper, did you just say something about graduating? Oh, Zeke can go with Justin! Yay! Well, what's this I hear about you not graduating? Look, another news update! I am bringing a TV and a big bag of pretzels. Nothing in my life is going to change. Do you remember making this in kindergarten? Nope. I made it so the teacher would know you ditched. Oh, yeah, we got that system down pretty early, oh, didn't we? Oh, yeah, we did. Here's my award for most absences. That's not an award. That's an angry letter from a teacher. <laughs> well, it says most, so I'm calling it an award. Aw, everything that you've ever yelled at me about in one convenient book. I'm so touched. Alex and I agreed years ago that when we had enough money saved, we'd move out. Right, Alex? Yeah. I have quarter. What about utilities? Where are you going to get the money for that? Oh, I just figured I'd take them from here. <laughs> Those are utensils. Well, then I don't know what utilities are. I overslept and didn't have a chance to write the script, but I am well rested, so that is good. Promise you'll pull your own weight? I promise. And respect the chore chart. And chore chart? Game night. DVDs and bags of crunchy things coated in cheese dust. And then afterwards, we can wipe our fingers on the couch. It's great having an orange couch. I've written down some questions to ask our prospective roommate. Oh, me too. Do you have any money and are you my size? That boy really wants you back. No, I know. This is the ugly side of being irresistible. Oh, man. The remote was on there. How are we going to watch TV now? Why are you yelling at the landlord? Remember, we put holes in the walls and we cover them with posters. Our substation provides a very valuable service to the community. I mean, where else are people going to eat when they want to call in sick to work the next day? You're my fairy godmother? What? It's not that big of a stretch. I've seen people be nice before. Are you going to turn the hot dog stand into something romantic to take me to the ball? <laughs> no, I'm just hungry. Oh, punch! <laughs> Hold on. The rest of the story is somewhere in this uh, drawer of random book pages. You know how I feel about reading. I used to shorten my books a lot. I just hope it's not too good or they'll expect me to open a jar of spaghetti sauce every week. I open that jar. Harper, nobody likes a bragger. Did you guys know that pasta goes from this to this in just eight minutes in boiling water? <laughs> no, that's magic.